The Prophet وسلم, said, Ajaban li mu'min. A moment's affair is strange. And when Allah blesses him with something good and he thanks Allah, he enjoys the goodness Allah has given him. And then he says, Ya Allah, I thank you for what you've given me. Allah rewards him. Allah has blessed him and he's enjoying himself. And by thanking Allah, he's getting more reward from Allah. And then when Allah gives, Allah takes something away and replaces it with hardship, he makes a sabr, and so as well as getting that hardship, it's hardship temporarily, but it's getting reward from Allah. And so much reward, The reward Allah will give the people who make sabr will have no limits and no bounds. Uh, so much reward. And the hardship, illness, TB, cancer, whatever, a person will suffer a few years at the most, then even if a person was living a life, severe hardship, severe illness, until death took him away. But when death comes, illness is also taken away. And there is nobody with cancer in the grave. There will be nobody with cancer in Jannat. And there will be nobody, Allah Akbar, with back problem in Jannat. There will be nobody with arthritis in Jannat. Uh, inshallah. And everything, everything bad will be taken away. So the hardship, and will be taken away after a few years. But the reward Allah will give upon the sabr a person makes. One old woman came to the Prophet وسلم, and she used to suffer from epilepsy. She used to have fits. And she said, Ya Rasulullah, make dua, Allah gives me cure. Allah cures me, gives me shifa. The Prophet وسلم, said, Oh woman, if you want, I will make dua for you and Allah will give you shifa. Or if you want, you make sabr and Allah will give you jannat. She said, Ya Rasulullah, well, I would rather have Jannat. And she said, but Ya Rasulullah, I'm an old woman. When I get these fits and these attacks, I don't know what happens to me. And so often my, my, my aura, my private parts get exposed. Ya Rasulullah, make dua that when this happens to me, at least I won't become uncovered. The Prophet ﷺ made dua. So when she used to have fits and she continued having fits, but when she would have fits, uh, she, she would remain in control of her of, of, of her clothing, etc. And she lived after the Prophet وسلم, and in the time of Umar once he said to the people, if you want to see a woman of Jannat, that old woman, she's a woman of Jannat. Because the Prophet وسلم, promised a Jannat. Uh, so when a, when, a, when a Muslim and a believer gets hardship, he doesn't go crazy. Uh, he doesn't become depressed. Uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't get a nervous breakdown. Why? Because he remembers Allah, he thanks Allah, and he turns to Allah, and his heart is happy with Allah. Uh, so Allah gives him satisfaction. He doesn't. A true Muslim can never ever be depressed. If a person is depressed and he has a nervous breakdown, that means there is something seriously wrong with his iman. Otherwise, a true believer. He can never have a nervous breakdown. He's always satisfied with Allah. And it says in another hadith, مَن لَمْ يَرْضَ بِقَضَائِ وَلَمْ يَصْبِرْ عَلَىٰ بَلَائِ فَلْيَلْتَمِسْ رَبَّنْ سِوَائِ If a person is not happy with what Allah wants to give him, and مَن لَمْ يَرْضَ بِقَضَائِ وَلَمْ يَصْبِرْ عَلَىٰ بَلَائِ And when Allah inflicts any hardship and he doesn't make sabr, then Allah says, this is Qudsi, فَلْيَلْتَمِسْ رَبَّنْ سِوَائِ He should go and get himself another Rabb other than me. And is there another Rabb other than Allah? No. And a person who's happy with Allah, who's happy with Allah, with the little Allah gives him, if Allah has given someone little, not abundant, he has a nice simple car, nice simple hut or a house which is, which is sufficient for him. He doesn't get a three course meal every day, but he does get enough to fill his stomach, alhamdulillah. And he's happy with Allah. If a person is happy with the little Allah gives him, Allah will become happy with the little he gives Allah. Uh, he, Allah will become happy with the little he gives Allah. In other words, here in the bare essentials, faraiz, wajibat, Five times daily prayers, mashallah. He doesn't have enough money to pay zakat, no problem. He doesn't have enough money to go to hajj, no problem. A hajj is not obligatory upon him. And mashallah, that bare essential is he performs, Allah is happy, that's enough. 
Uh, and this man, uh, he will get his reward from Allah. And when people want everything good, Ya Allah, I want nice this, nice that, nice, no, no problem, you can ask Allah. But then Allah says, okay, nice prayers, nice sadqa, nice fasting, nice hajj, uh, give me something nice as well. Uh, uh, so a moment has got nothing to lose. If you're happy, mashallah, you got good things, thank Allah. Uh, if you're going through hardship, no problem, don't despair, make sabr, and uh, the hardships Allah will take away uh, after a while. Inna ma'al usri yusra, inna ma'al usri yusra. Allah guarantees after every hardship there is ease. After every hardship there is ease. Allah guarantees. Uh, if nothing in this world, then the ease Allah will give on the hereafter, Allah will compensate for all the hardships of this world. Then a person will wish uh, he had spent all his life in hardship. A person, he says in hadith, a person will be brought on the day of Qiyamah who would have spent his entire life in hardship. And not just hardship, but severe hardship. And Allah will say to the angels, just take him and whisk him through Jannah. And then bring him back. And then he will be brought back. And Allah, A person who lived his life in the most severe hardships will be brought. And then Allah will say to him, after having been through Jannat, and just smelled the, uh, just felt the cool breeze and smelled the fragrance of Jannat and just seen it, he will, Allah will say, Tell me, have, have you ever seen any hardship in your worldly life? He will say, Ya Allah, Wallahi, he will swear by the honor of Allah. Ya Allah, I have hardship, what's that? You know, I have never seen any hardship. That just one, one go, uh, just one breeze of Jannat, one just uh, cool smell of Jannat will make him forget all the hardships of this world. And Allah will say to him, Oh my, oh my servant, I did not put you in hardship in the world uh, because I looked down upon you or because you were you because you were disgraced in my gaze rather i i kept the world away from you so that i can bless you more in the akhirah